had a chance to talk to Taekwon Lewis and listen to him talk about his rehab from the injury, a torn patella tendon. How's he doing? How's he project toward the season? What did he learn during the rehab process? And how does he attack rehab? How's the leg? How's it feel? How's it? It's great. You know, <laughs> I mean, I feel great. You know, the knee's great. Uh, I couldn't be any more proud of where I'm at right now. You know, it's been a long off season, I guess you could say. I mean, I work extremely hard to get back to where I was, so it's just a great time. You still, do you still think about it, or are you able to just play? Um, I don't really dwell on anything. Like, I've always been raised that way. I don't really dwell on much. Like, if something happens, it just happens. You know, I don't dwell on anything. I just try to like go right through it, like keep playing. Was this was this injury more of a challenge? It's kind of a rare one. Yeah. Tyler tendon. Was it more of a challenge because of that? No. I, I I can't really explain like my mindset when it happened. Like I like when it happened, I looked up. Me and Eb, we we like kind of laughed about it a little bit. I I I was in a state of shock still, so I was just like, I just couldn't believe it. So after that, like I was just like, let's just go to rehab. You know, like I was ready to go. You know, it's really just like me like pushing forward, like progressing. You know, mentally it was just like, all right, like this is adversity. I'm just gonna keep going, you know. It, I don't. I can't really think about like how it's gonna affect me or anything. I just, I just think about like, oh, what do I do next? Like, how how can I like make it better? Is it hard not to think about your future because you were free agent? Not for the slightest bit. Really? No. I I don't like I I don't get down on anything. I try to erase all negative thoughts. You know, it's like when I think about like. But I thought about my future, I was just like, you know, all I can control right now, you know, I control all controllables. So if it's in front of me and, it, and it's in my control, then I do it. Everything else, I just let God handle it. So that's what I think of. And when they signed you, right? what did that tell you? I mean, that... That means that I... That means, like, Chris and everyone around still, like, it's like, okay, like, we're going to give him a, a chance. Like, they believe in me, you know, and I'm very appreciative of it, you know, you know, because... Chris believed he he believed when when I didn't that sometimes you know so you know to see what he see in me I you know I respect him and I respect the organization the coaches you know I'm, I'm always thankful I'm always grateful so I mean I'm just happy man I, I'm always excited. He made it pretty clear right away in the off season that he wanted you back. How much does that help? I mean it just it boosts your morale you know knowing that someone has your back like through thick and thin you know like you said it wasn't easy like it was you know it was it was gruesome but. It was like just for me. It was like, all right, let's go to back to work, you know. And and like I said, for him to have my back, you know, it just it just means a lot. Like especially moving forward, like you know, this team, like everyone around me, the chemistry we have as like a whole organization it just means a lot. That you know, people trust me and they want me to continue to do well. Talk about did did you watch the play? If you go back and watch the play, yeah, many times. Yeah, I guess. I mean, <laughs> arguably your best player this season. All right. I mean, yes. Yeah. I can't. I can't tell you. Like, I, I can replay exactly what happened. Like, I remember when I tore it initially. It was like like two plays before. I don't know exactly what happened. Oh, so the injury you didn't came turn before. On, you didn't turn on the play. I mean, I I felt it. I was like, yo, like something was off, and I was just like, ah. Uh, then I got the sack. And then next play, I caught. I catch an interception. And I'm just like, well, I'm feeling good, but I'm running with the ball. And I'm like, I'm running slow. <laughs> and then I, I just felt like something like go away from me. I'm like, oh, no, nah, like what's going on? So, and then the, boom, it, it happened. So it was what, a lot of switch in emotions. I mean, from a couple of great plays to right. damn. It was like, God. EB comes out, you know, he looks at me. I look at him. He's like, it's your patella, buddy. And I just look at him. And I just, just like, way. yeah. Like he was like, I just looked at him. I just like, well. Here we are, like, <laughs> and I cracked a smile and I looked up at the sky and just, I was, I'm just thankful, man. I cherish every moment, good, bad, ugly. It doesn't matter what it is in my life. I cherish every moment, man, because, you know, it's made me who I am, you know, overcoming obstacles, whatever it is in life that you need to get through, just cherish it because that grind will never go away. So it was almost like you tweaked it a couple plays before yeah. and then you had to pick it. Yeah, basically. 
Right. So you but, should tweak it, have a sack, have an interception, and then not tear it. Yeah. <laughs> you can do that in the future. I guess. <laughs> well, usually, usually you look ahead in this defense. Right. People try to pigeonhole. It seemed like you're still moving around. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm still versatile. You know, I, I still I still run fast. You know, um, I think I hit like 20 miles per hour or something. I mean, man, like. You know, it's just fortunate, you know, with those guys up there backing me. You know, the trainers every day. I, I probably had, I don't know how many days off, like, ever. And this is probably the least amount I've ever been away from, least amount of time I've ever spent away from my home in North Carolina, you know. But, you know, it's all worth it. It's all right. I'm not really tripping about it. From the ender, ender, ender tackle, I mean, is it just whatever? Oh, ender tackle? I can play either or. You know. Defensive line. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm a defensive lineman. How has the Ngakwe changed the room, if at all? Oh man, I like it. he he comes with a unique skill set. Uh, skill set, you know, he doesn't go out there and try to recreate moves. He goes out there and you watch him do the same thing every single day. Like, you know, it's it's like all right, like this guy he isn't re he isn't reinventing anything. He's like trying he's not trying to reinvent the wheel. He's just you know trying to like be the best pass rusher he could be and like. You know, it forces the room to like step up as fast rushers too, because you know he's gonna get out the quarterback, and you know you you want to get out the quarterback too. So, you know, four equals one. We're all trying to get to it. Have you noticed him practicing the really fast? Really, I mean, has that been noticeable? Yeah, I mean, you know, he practices really fast as a defense, so it's kind of hard because if you don't, excuse me. All right, I think we're good. But if you, I feel like if you don't practice hard or fast, like. Then it stands out, like you know, you don't want to be that guy. So, he, from a you talk to, uh, to Julian Blackman much about rehab or, or injuries. Like, he, yeah, he, guys seem like you're rehabbing at the same time, and he's he just has such yeah. a kind of bright, positive attitude about it too. Yeah, I mean, we we were kind of like, well, I think his was like right before mine, so we was like kind of right there, like crossing paths. You know, it was just like, I don't know, like it was really never any dull moments, like. It's it's hard to get down on yourself, man. Like when you got like great people in the training room, great like staff around you, great people around you. It's, it's kind of hard like to find that moment. Like I, I can't really explain it, man. But if somebody ever like needs uplifting, like you know, it's it's really like you could come to me. I don't like I I'm always here to brighten somebody's day. You know, I don't. Hey, man, I just try to be a great person. So it's it's kind of like just go hand in hand, me and him. Like. We just try to like stay uplifted. From a mental standpoint, it's like crazy to think about how far you've come because you were you've been really yeah. open with us about how confidence was a problem for you early. Yeah, it's a crazy thing about how far you've come. Yeah, kinda. Because like, you know, it, when you go through like everything that you go through like in college and ten, like your first two years, it's like, all right, like, like how do we put this all together? And you know, I was I'm not really open about like. Who I am as a person. I'm not really the social media person. I'm not really that guy, but you know, I'm a real like I'm an honest dude who who just try to like be a great person. And you know, like Deck and and Chris, you know, everyone around you, like they just build like the confidence in me. And you know, I just try to display it now, like carry it on, like show it more. So that's what I do now. That's Taekwon Lewis. How amazing is that? That really the two biggest plays of his career preceded immediately the torn patella tendon and he felt it give way right before those two plays happened.